but uh, I will keep this matter for uh, Dr. Sari. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, sure, I'm welcoming first uh, your presence with us. Hello, معكم جميعا. أهلا وسهلا بكم في هذا الصرح الأكاديمي العريق. أبدأ بالترحيب سويا بضيفتنا المشتركة سيلفيا كاتالدي والدكتور جينارو يوريو بحرم الجامعة الأمريكية التي يسرنا أن نكون فيها لقد دأبت الجامعة اللبنانية والمعهد معهد العلوم الاجتماعية ضمنا على محاولات تعزيز شراكاتها العلمية الأكاديمية مع جامعات الوطن كما ومع العديد من الجامعات في الخارج وذلك لإيمانها العميق بأهمية هذه الشراكات سواء لتطوير ذاتها كما وللتفاعل العلمي البناء مع المؤسسات التربوية الأكاديمية بهدف تبادل الخبرات وتلاقحها لإيجاد دينامية مؤسساتية مستدامة إن على مستوى الوطن أو على مستوى الدول فبرأينا التشبيك مع المنظمات الأهلية والدولية عبر بناء شبكة علاقات وطنية إقليمية وعالمية وحده الكفيل بتحقيق ذلك الموجع أننا نعيش اليوم في محنة كبيرة في لبنان انعكست حكما على مؤسساته العامة والخاصة بتنوعاتها ولقد طالت هذه الأزمة الجميع وما زالت جامعتنا الوطنية تحاول الصمود وتسعى إلى الاحتفاظ بحيويتها قدر الإمكان لتثبت أنها ما زالت الجامعة الوطنية الجامعة لذا نحن نصر في تواجدنا وتدعيم شراكاتنا ونعول بشكل كبير على طاقاتنا الذاتية لحماية هذا الوطن ومؤسساته لن أطيل الحديث عن مواجعنا الكثيرة وعن إصرارنا وطموحاتنا فموضوعنا الذي جئنا نستمع له سينسينا قليلا أزمتنا لأخذنا لمجال علمي كلنا نحلم بتحقيقه أو بتحققه لتطوير مجتمعاتنا بما فيها تطوير الروابط الاجتماعية وإعادة توليدها كما تذكر الباحثة في محاضرتها خلال هذه هذا اللقاء سنستمع إذا لما ستقدمه الباحثة والأستاذة الجامعية في هذه المحاضرة العلمية التي تحمل عنوان Social Love and the Critical Potential of People When the Social Reality Challenges the Sociological Imagination الحب الاجتماعي والقدرات الهامة للناس عندما يتحدى الواقع الاجتماعي الخيال السوسيولوجي وكلنا أمل أن نستعيد خلال هذه المداخلة وما سيأتي من نقاش حولها حيويتنا الذهنية في المفيد لنا كأساتذة وباحثين وكلنا في انتظار أن نستطلع بهذه القراءة موضوعا جديدا في قراءة المجتمع الكل واع لأهمية العلوم الاجتماعية في بلورة مقاربتها النظرية والمعرفية للمجتمعات الإنسانية وتحولاتها السريعة الراهنة في عالم يواجهنا في كل يوم بتعقيداته البنيوية الجديدة وتغييراته العميقة أخيراً لا بد من تقديم الشكر للمؤسسات المساندة في تحضير هذا اللقاء وجعله واقعا وطبعا أعني الجامعة الأمريكية ممثلة بشخص الصديق الدكتور ساري حنفي وشبك والشبكة الدولية لدراسات المجتمعات العربية ممثلة بالزميلة الدكتورة مريز يونس وأدعو لكم بالتوفيق
Thank you so much, uh, uh, Mar uh, Marlin, for your talk. So just a, a, a brief summary uh, of, of the talk. So uh, the university, the, uh, the Lebanese university is so eager uh, to collaborate with your university uh, in Rome and uh, in uh, Salerno. Yeah, thank you for, uh, 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 yeah, the, okay. And uh, and in spite the fact that the university is, is going through a, a deep crisis, uh, crisis is related mainly to the economic uh, situation in, in Lebanon, but also uh, COVID-19 and the online uh, teaching for a long time. We should remind everyone that Lebanese university is a national university, so it's extremely important. And maybe something you didn't say it, Marlin, that, uh, that not only half of the Lebanese students are from the national, uh, from Lebanese university, but I would say 80% of uh, social science uh, graduate are at least 80%, according to my study, is from Lebanese University. So it's really the reservoir of reflection in, 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 in social research and, and in teaching and educating uh, uh, faculty. So, uh, so uh, yes, she, uh, she, uh, she just uh, is so happy of this collaboration with EUB and with INAS, uh, the network of uh, um, uh, that, that Marisa Yunus represented. And uh, she welcome you all uh, for uh, the talk on social love and critical potential of people when the social reality challenges the sociological imagination. Uh, thank you, Marlin, and I give the floor directly to uh, Maris. No, I'm here because this is a problem. Uh, dear colleagues and friends, allow me first uh, to welcome our guest from Rome, Professor of Sociology, Dr. Silvia Cataldi, and Professor of Sociology, Dr. Gennaro Laurio. We are honored and pleased to have you with us today in Lebanon to benefit from this scientific opportunity to learn about your new proposal on the concept of social love. I also welcome the Dean of the Institute of Social Sciences at the Lebanese University, Dr. Marlene Haider, and we appreciate the great cooperation on, in organizing this uh, meeting today. And of course, I welcome my colleague, director of the Center for Arab and Middle Eastern Studies, Dr. Sari Hanafi, for this valuable scientific initiative and his constant cooperation. Our uh, flowers via Zoom, we welcome you and we are happy to have you here. I ask you the permission to speak also in Arabic to address my colleagues and students at the Lebanese University. نسعد اليوم بالتواجد معكم في رحاب الجامعة الأمريكية في بيروت ضمن فعاليات هذه الندوة التي تنظم الشراكة مع مركز الدراسات العربية ودراسات الشرق أوسطية والجامعة الأمريكية ومعهد العلوم الاجتماعية في الجامعة اللبنانية والشبكة الدولية لدراسة المجتمعات العربية وإنني سعيدة أيضا بهذا التشبيك المثلث بين الجامعة الأمريكية والجامعة اللبنانية والشبكة إناس اولا لانني انتمي الى الجامعه اللبنانيه وثانيا بصفتي المنسقه العامه للشبكه الدوليه لدراسه المجتمعات العربيه الشريك في هذه الندوه حيث تكون فلسفه الشبكه الاساس على التشبيك والتعاون بين المؤسسات العلميه والمراكز البحثيه فالشبكه بما تمثله من تجمع للمؤسسات العلميه تجاوز عددها الثمانين مؤسسه من مختلف التخصصات في العلوم الاجتماعيه والانسانيه تعتبر أن المدخل الأساس لتطوير المعرفة هو التداول العلمي بين الجماعة العلمية العربية والدولية لتوسيع دائرة النقاش المعرفي. وإن الإضافة اليوم تكمن في جدة الطرح والفكرة الجديدة التي يحملها مفهوم الحب الاجتماعي. وقد قال التوحيد يوما الإنسان أشكل عليه الإنسان. هي عبارة ختم بها التوحيد أحد كتبه الهوامل والشوامل واليوم أقول أمامكم الحب 
أشكل عليه الحب تحدثنا ويحدثنا الضيوف عن الحب الاجتماعي لا من موقع شعري أو فلسفي أو روحي بل من موقع سوسيولوجي عقلاني قائم على معطيات تجريبية في حياة الناس العاديين نتساءل اليوم مع أساتذة الضيوف ما هي الرؤى النظرية والمعطيات التجريبية التي تبرر مفهمة الحب الاجتماعي اليوم كيف يمكن أن نبرر استخدام هذا المفهوم اليوم ونميزه عن الحب الأفلاطوني أو الأيروس أو معانيه عند الفلاسفة وعلماء النفس وعلماء الاجتماع خاصة المهتمين بعلم اجتماع المشاعر وإذا كانت هي دعوة فما الذي يميزها عن دعوات الديانة المسيحية والدعوات الأخرى التي عرفها التاريخ وما الإضافة التي يمكن أن يقدمها هذا المعنى لمفهوم الاعتراف عند أكسل هونيس وهو الذي جعل من الحب والقانون والتضامن نماذج, نماذج ما سماه بالاعتراف الزواتي كيف يمكن أن نضع لممارساته أي الحب الاجتماعي تسمية ما تميزه تسمية ما تميزه عن معاني وممارسات مجاورة مثل الواجب والتضامن والهبة والتعاطف وغيرها وماذا عن هذا المعنى في مجتمعاتنا العربية ونحن مجتمعات تفتقد للمواطنة فمجتمعنا اللبناني مثلا مجتمع مشبع بالحب الاجتماعي وهناك مئات الشواهد والأمثلة على أشكال الحب الاجتماعي التي يقوم بها الأفراد يوميا وكل ساعة منها بقصد المنفعة ومنها ما يتجاوز أي منفعة أو أي احتساب بل فقط لمحبة الآخرين وفعل الخير لأنها أصبحت اليوم تحل كبديل عن الدولة وعلى حساب تطبيق القانون ومبدأ الحق في الخدمة والرعاية والمشاركة الاجتماعية أي على حساب تحقيق المواطنة Let me translate only the, uh, the part of questions What are the theoretical frames and imperial data that allow the conceptualization of social love? What added value can this meaning give to the concept of recognition by Axel Honneth that it was made love, law, and solidarity models paradigm of what he called self-recognition? How can we put a name or a label for its practices that distinguish it from similar meaning and practices such as duty, solidarity, gift, sympathy, and others. And if is this, a, this is a call, what distinguishes it from the Christian religion's calls for love and Sufi calls also that human history has known? And what about the global dimension of social love? How can love be social? and at the same time universal, to whom it is directed. Is it directed for the weak or it is absolute love? What about this meaning in our Arab societies? What we, what our, our societies now suffer and from the lack of citizenship. Our Lebanese society, for example, is imbued with love, with social love, and there are hundreds of evidence and examples of daily practices carried out by individuals, including interest. But also, some practices are not including interest and that go beyond for the aim of doing good and loving others. Yet, they happen at the expense of achieving citizenship. This is to the extent of becoming an alternative of the state. And, we, and now I am wondering, like this is, is to the extent of becoming an alternative of the state and at the expense of achieving the principle of right in the service and care of law enforcement. Thank you. And I give you the floor to open the discussion. Dr. Thank you so much, uh, Marisa, for uh, the, uh, uh, and the question you you raised, uh, yeah, uh, you you can if you like it, you can you can say uh, where you are. Thank 
Thank you. Actually, actually, it's better to be here because they will uh, for the, the camera. First of all, okay, it's okay, yes. We would like to thank you to, for the invitation. We are very honored to be here and uh, we would especially uh, like to thank uh, Professor Saria Nafi, who is uh, a worldwide authority in the, on sociology. Uh, a big thanks, especially to the Professor Marlene Haider, we are very honored to be with you and be hosted by your um, um, very prestigious university. And uh, we think that it is very important uh, to protect the common good and uh, this public university it is worldwide, not only for the Lebanon. And so uh, we thank you. And we thank you very much, uh, Professor Mari Yunis, uh, who hosted us and uh, all uh, her uh, research network and especially the Institute uh, of the INES. And uh, also a big thank you and our gratitude to every one of you and uh, to all the promoters of this event, the Center for Arab and Middle Eastern Studies of the American University of Beirut, the INES, yeah. the Institute of Social Sciences of the Lebanese University, and also the Lebanese Sociological Association. I would like to thank you. We, we have here in presence the president, so we are very honored to be with you. In this seminar, uh, we would like to talk about the social dimension of love. Talking about love in today's society seems like a gamble. Yet the daily life of each of us is dotted with the small and large acts of love that give meaning to our life to, uh, and help to innovate and regenerate social bonds. But how read and give strength to these gestures? The theoretical conceptual baggage offered by sociology is limited. For too long, love has in fact been confined in the private sphere and its public dimension has been neglected. Experience, on the other hand, tell us that love is a force capable to generating social bonds and the change in a human society. The aim of this seminar is therefore to give uh, visibility to the social dimension of love by recognizing it as a form of a sociality that uh, allows for the sharing of diversity and which is implemented by people in daily life. To do this, we'll uh, we will put the sociological imagination into action. So let's start with, then from the story of two episodes in the news of these days. Maybe you have to uh, please uh, uh, stop uh, when uh, we, uh, yeah, uh, you I have to you brief. Yes. Okay, please. Huh? Yeah, maybe maybe uh, let me. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, so um, so 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 far on brief uh, social. Afwan, uh, uh, الحب الاجتماعي هو ليس الحب بالمعنى الحب بين رجل أو امرأة مثلا هو حب له علاقة بالعلاقات الإنسانية كلها على عدة مستويات بين الأخوة بين الجيرة 
حي الإنسانية كاملة إذا هناك تسليط ضوء على أهمية أن 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 نقرأ الواقع من خلال مفهوم بدهم يحفروا اليوم عن الحب الاجتماعي. Okay, okay. we were saying thank you. We were saying that we can start with two episodes, two little gestures. Those are only examples, but you know, you know, you know your life. You can know many other gestures like this, and also. Uh, actions uh, at the institutional level like this but however let's start okay uh, for for going through the uh, the the concept of social love okay this is for example this is the story of vincenzo you can see maybe you know the reason the possibility uh, oh okay Okay, this is the story of Vincenzo. You can see this slide with, uh, with the imagine of uh, Vincenzo, who is an Italian fisherman from Lampedusa, who a few days ago, in violation of the law, saved 24 migrants who risked drowning crossing the Mediterranean Sea. We are about 30 miles from the island of Lampedusa, and Vincenzo crosses a cart with migrants on board. The makeshift boat is adrift and takes on water. According to the law, Vincenzo should not help them personally, but call for help. But he has no qualms. And so together with his apprentice, he saves them one by one and declares, I'm not a hero. I haven't do I, I haven't do anything exceptional. Indeed, I was denounced, but I would do it again a thousand times. This is an example. Another brief example. This is yeah. okay. The next one. Okay, this is uh, an imagine of a video posted on Twitter during uh, the Russian military intervention in Ukraine, and it shows. Uh, a weeping Russian soldier and amid a group of local Ukrainians, uh, Ukrainians feeding him, helping him, and offering him a cup of tea. At his side, a Ukrainian woman tries to calm him by offering her phone to communicate with her mother in Russia, while a voiceover is heard saying in Ukrainian, it is not the fault of these young people. They do not know why they are here. Okay, this is only a conflict. You have uh, many conflicts here, so uh, it is only an example. And you have other similar experiences. Uh, each one of you could tell based both on a biographical and also institutional level. In any case, the why we, we Yes, why we are mm, telling these episodes? Because we are sociologists and we have to be challenged by the reality. And we can ask ourselves, what are the characteristics in common with these gestures? So let's try to answer together. Okay, the common characteristics. What are the common characteristics of these gestures? Or only those examples, two examples. First of all, these are abounding gestures. Nobody expects to be welcomed by a person if you are a stranger, and even more if you are an enemy. Secondly, these gestures do not refer to the logic of duty because they question the regulatory horizon in which people live. We can say that these gestures go beyond justice because they do not have a computational system that allows for equivalence. And at the same time, we can say that these gestures do not pertain only to the gift 
because they do not activate the logic of giving, receiving, and giving back cycle. At the same time, they do not even refer to the logic of solidarity because they do not necessarily imply adherence to a status or esteem of others. Rather, these gestures pertain to the logic of overabundance. Yes, because they break shared expectations. And in some cases, they are also against the law, like the case of uh, Vincenzo, as in the case of the fisherman. So they make an act of civil disobedience by putting the care of people and of the world in the center. In other words, they are acts of criticism toward the competitive logic of the world. And then we can say that these gestures are acts of daily heroism. They do not necessarily derive from wise man and woman or from people who deduce their conduct from an idea. They belong to ordinary people. Each of one of us can be those. And they require action, which is concrete. However, they are not private acts. They have a public dimension and public relevance. They create a new social bond and they create new spaces of sociality in which people act against the tide. Maybe you yeah. have to. Yes. Um, إذن uh, بدأت uh, سيلفيا بإعطاء مثالين من حياتنا اليومية المثال الأول uh, صياد uh, بجانب جزيرة لامبروزا uh, um, ليش هو لماذا uh, um, ينقذ لاجئين uh, أو, um, uh, أو مهاجرين يلوذون باللجوء سيذهبوا إلى أوروبا اللاجئين لماذا, يريد يريدون لماذا هو أراد أن, أن ينقذهم رغم أن هذا الفعل ضد القانون إذن هذا أول تساؤل التساؤل الثاني ليش بأوكرانيا لما رأوا جندي روسي أطعموا كان جائع وكيف رغم أنه هو جزء من من مؤسسة عسكرية عم بتهاجم أوكرانيا اليوم لماذا قرروا أنه يعطفوا عليه ويقدموا له المساعدة إذا الحب الاجتماعي هو حب أولا له أربع سمات حكت على أول سمة أنه هو ليس عمل بطولي بمعنى إنسان للإفتخار الصياد عمل ذلك بدون كاميرات وكذلك الناس العاديين عندما أنقذوا أو أطعموا الجندي الروسي إذا ال الأول شيء المفهوم الأوفر أبندنس يلي هو التجاوز بمعنى بمعنى بأنه عم بيصير شيء غير متوقع غير متوقع هذا إذا شيء بيأثر كثير على علاقات الاجتماعية ونادرا نحن بالعلوم الاجتماعية ما من وجه النظر على ذلك قدي نحن بنحكي على اليوم على الحرب بين أوكرانيا وروسيا وقدي بنهمل مرات تصرفات مثل هذه التصرف الآن هي رح تنقلنا للسمة الثانية واحد Thank you Putting all these characteristics together how then to name these actions we know that the act of naming is not a technical datum because through the name, uh, the humans meet the world. In fact, giving a name to something means making it live. Our proposal is therefore to name these gestures as social love, defining them as an action, relationship, 
or social interaction in which the subjects overcome in giving, in receiving, is not doing, or in renouncing all their antecedents, and therefore they offer more than what the situation requires with the intent to giving benefits. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, this definition, we, we gave this definition, of course, has some elements of innovation, but it also rests on the shoulders of giants. Here, we name only some of the most important contributions that the concept has had. Yes, for example, this concept, of course, is based on the history of philosophy. In Greek philosophy, the first one who reflected on love is Empedocles, with his concept of philotes. Then also Plato spoke of Eros and Aristotle of philia. Moreover, an important contribution to the concept of social love comes from agape. This is an important concept because it allows us to get out of the circle of others who are next and protects the differences between ego and alter. However, the concept of social love above all rests on the shoulders of the classics of sociological thought. In particular, Georg Simmel, recognize that love has the ability to estab establish relationships and allows the passage from the individual level to the super individual and the collective level. The concept of social love is also connected to the reflection of Max Weber, who studied the historical configurations in the great religions. He showed the potential and the risks connected to the ethical of loving and helping others, especially when it is extended to the universal and even cosmic level. Finally, the concept of social love is thankful to the American Russian sociologist, Petrim Sorokin. He studied love in all its dimension, recognizing in the, the capacity of, to release energies of creative relationship in all the fields of human life. في الحقيقة أول شيء أعطونا بعد هالمقدمة شو تعريف الحب الاجتماعي والتعريف يلي بيقترحوه هو عمل اجتماعي أو علاقة اجتماعية أو تفاعل اجتماعي يتخطى فيه الأشخاص في إعطائهم في تلقيهم في القيام أو عدم القيام أو في التخلي هذا كله بين قوسين كلا من سبقهم إذا إذا بتخطى فيه الأش الأشخاص كل من سبقهم وبالتالي يقدمون أكثر مما يتطلبه الموقف بقصد النفع والإفادة و وبعدين انتقلوا لأنه منين كيف حفروا نظريا هذا هذا المفهوم بدء هذا المفهوم في الحقيقة بدأ بتاريخ الفلسفة من الفلسفة اليونانية وخاصة مع أفلاطون بس وأمبدروكليس بمفهوم بتفريق بين الفلوتس والآيروس والفيليا وأخيراً الأجابي في الحقيقة أنواع من الحب إلى علاقة بأدي الحب شو هي الدوافع وإذا كان هو فقط الحب من للآخر بدون مقابل وهذا يلي رح يحكوا عليه فيما بعد 
الحقيقه اذا 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 اردنا اردنا ان نحكي بيحكوا انه كيف تسموا حفر هذا المفهوم من السوسيولوجيين الكلاسيكيين ذكروا زيمل فيبر وسوركين وخاصه زيمل يلي عرف بان الحب لديه القدره على اقامه علاقات ويسمح بالانتقال من المستوى الفردي الى المستوى فوق الفردي والجماعي. Did you talk about Weber or uh, yeah yeah and, and about Weber uh, كيف يرتبط مفهوم الحب عند Weber uh, من خلال دراسات التشكلات التاريخية في الأديان العظمى أظهرت الإمكانات والمخاطر المرتبطة بأخلاقيات استقبال القريب التي تمتد إلى مستوى عالمي وحتى كوني أما السوركن ففي الحقيقة مفهوم الحب عنده كان ينطلق من طاقات العلاقة الإبداعية في جميع مجالات الحياة البشرية. But we we have to add some contributions, yeah, uh, and especially uh, the proposal of social love. The next one, I know. Okay. Yes, this one. Sorry. Yes, the proposal of social love can also be considered a reaction to contemporary society, uh, sociology, sorry, which has highlighted how love is characterized by a process of rationalization and secularization in line with the civilization process, of course. Think, for example, of the reflections of Elias, Foucault, Giddens, Sombart, but also of Collins, Bauman, Beck, Beck Gernsheim, Hochschild, Kaufman, and Illus as well. Regarding to these trends of secularization and rationalization, the concept of social love makes two criticisms. On the one hand, it departs from that mechanism that made love implode to intimate relationships, relegating it to love between partners in the family or only in the primary groups. And on the other hand, it departs from the logic of secularization and rationalization that have subjected love to the market, consumerism and utilitarism typical of the contemporary society. In fact, social love intends to recover the non-particularistic and the non-exclusive dimension of love, highlighting the innovative and the generative spirit of the effective action. But let's go further a little bit more. And uh, another, another contribution, oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry. Okay, another contribution uh, is also by the feminist tradition. And uh, in line with this stream, we attribute to love a purely emancipatory role in social and political relations opposing the logic of domination and affirming an ethic of care that goes beyond the purely self-giving and charitable level. في متابعة الحفر مفهوم الحب الاجتماعي بهنو هني بيختلفوا عن كيف تم أفهمت الحب باعتباره جزء من أو متأثر بعمليات العقلنة والعلمنة بما يتماشى مع الحضارة وفي الحقيقة شغل نوربرت إلياس ميشيل فوكو أنتوني جيدنز سومبارت كولينز بومان ويبك جرشما جرنشايم وزوجة الله يرحمه أورليك بيك وأرلي هورتشايد وغوفمان وإيفا إلوز كلهم في الحقيقة اشتغلوا على الحب ضمن ضمن البروسيس تبع العقلنا والعلمنا لهذا مفهوم الحب الاجتماعي ينتقد بيعمل نقدين مهمات النقد الأول بأنه بيفصلوا عن كيف 
ان انهار الحب في العلاقات الحميمي آه وبالتالي ممكن آه على المستوى الحميمي يكون في ضعف لعلاقات الحب ولكن يبقى هناك في شيء حب اجتماعي وفي الحقيقه والانتقاد الثاني اللي بنتقد المسار المؤلفين هدول يلي انه ربطوه بالنزعه الاستهلاكيه للسوق والنزعه النفعيه مثلا شغل ايفا اولوز يلي اشتغلت كيف الحب يجرح بسبب الرأسمالية الشعورية emotional capitalism a little bit more yeah so no no so just to make it and 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 uh well وفي الحقيقة الشيء الهام جدا هي المقاربات النسوية يلي يلي اجت لتحرر تلعب دور تحريري للحب وتربطوا بشكل عام بالعلاقات الاجتماعية والسياسية ومنطق الهيمني ومؤكد على أخلاقيات العناية التي تتجاوز فكرة التضحية وأعمال الخير البحتة موضوع الكيرينج هي كيف هذا أصبح هام جدا بالأدبيات النسوية أوكي واحد Thank you. However, the concept of social love is main, mainly inspired by contemporary critical theory. In particular, it is inspired by the work of the French sociologist Luc Boltanski, that is uh, Pierre Bourdieu's uh, disciple. We know that Boltanski tried to respond to the antinomise of a Bourdieuian structuralism through a new theory of regime of action. Within his work, L'Amour et la Justice comme Compétence, Boltanski analyzes the regimes of social action and to get out of the impasse of accounting that has colonized every sphere of the human action, he proposed the concept of love as agape. Defining it as a practice that allows each one to experience, experience the other and expresses a type of action that breaks with the logic of accounting. According to Boltanski, agape is, in fact, is the only type of action which, ignoring the equivalence, is heedless of a calculation and which, by escaping, the logic of violence allows one to enter a regime of peace. Another important contribution comes from Axel Onnet. Look, look, Boltanski is dear to me, so I will, uh, yeah, yes. no, no. I, as I uh, graduated yes. from France. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, First of all, uh, I have from audience say that uh, the voice is not very clear. Is it better? Should we uh, speak up uh, more? Can I hear from uh, anyone? I can hear it fine. Is it fine? For me, yeah. 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 yeah okay. Okay. So. So. Uh, so, okay, so only there is one from uh, the virtual uh, world is complaining. So, okay, so, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, to the... Um, yeah, if I'm going to the sound, 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 Hey, okay, okay. So, sorry, I'm, I'm just negotiating. Yeah, it's uh, the problem with the internet of some people and not for, uh, from us. Okay, so, Nazari is an is an الحب الاجتماعي الأفهمي تبعه في الحقيقة مربوط بالنظرية النقدية المعاصرة ورح يذكروا بشكل أساسي شخصين اللي شايفين صورتهم هون. لوك بولتانسكي واكسل هونت 
لوك بولتنسكي يلي هو تلميذ بيير بورديو حاول حاول الرد على بيير بورديو خاصة بالمبالغة بأهمية الهابيتوس وبمعنى بأنه نحن كلنا أبناء عائلتنا وأبناء القبيلة وفي الحقيقة المشيئة الإيجنسي ضعيفة لهذا بولتنسكي إجا مشان يعيد الاعتبار لأهمية الفرد بتحديد الفعل الاجتماعي تبعه وأعطى وعمل في الحقيقة تصنيفات هامة جدا بأنظمة الفعل الاجتماعي ويلي فرجانا أربع أنظمة أهم شيء فيها بأنه قال واحدة من هذه الأنظمة هي تتعامل مع الحب كمحبة أجابي يعني أحسن ترجمة هي مأخوذة من من المسيحية ما بعرف إذا برجيت بتوافق معي إذا لازم نترجم أجابي بمحبة ولا برأيك في شيء خاص بس محبة لأن أوضح هذا محبة اللي بشكل أساسي في الحقيقة الإنسان يعمل خير بدون ما يفكر بأنه الطرف الآخر رح رح يعطي عرفت علي؟ إذا في الحقيقة هي أهمية الاشتغال الفكري للوك بولتنسكي فلوك بولتنسكي بدعينا لما نفوت على البحث الميداني لما نقرأ الواقع بدنا نشوف أي فعل هل هو مبني على التصنيف الأول ولا الثاني ولا الثالث ولا الرابع اللي يعني واحد منه أجابي ولكن الأربعة في الحقيقة هني, هني, هني تفكر أخلاقي بفعلنا الاجتماعي يعني هذا هذا لوك بولتنسكي لهذا الكتاب اسمه لاموغ الى جوسيس كوم كومبيتونس البحث عن الكومبيتونس ثانك يو انذر امبورتنت كونتريبيوشن كام كامز فروم اكسل اونيت ا ثيرد جينيريشن اكسبوننت اوف ذا فرانكفورت سكول ان جيرماني ستارتينغ فروم ذا ايجيليان كونسبشن اوف لاف از بينغ وان سيلف ان ا سترينجر In his work, the struggle for recognition shows how love may represent the first stage of the theory of recognition. Love represents the original core of all ethics, and it is therefore only starting from this form of the relationship that the spheres of law and solidarity are founded. So, Uh, sorry for reading, this is only for the translation, as you know, but however, uh, we can, so we can conclude this part of the contemporary critical theory that in other words, we can say that the concept of social love is adapted to Boltaski and Hornet for two main reasons. Uh, the first one is the recognition of this critical charge of uh, the, the gestures that break with the status quo. And the second one, which is the most important one for us, is the epistemological perspective. Because as the sociology of critical abilities of Boltaski and Teveno recognizes, the practices of the subjects in their daily life take priority over the established abstract principles of a detached theorization. This means that the power of criticism Uh, lies not so much in the theories of the intellectuals, but in the subjects and their daily actions. إذا انتقلوا بعدين لمؤلفات أليكسيس هونت وخاصة كيف كتابه الشهير يلي هو البحث عن الاعتراف وكيف يمكن للحب أن يمثل المرحلة الأولى من نظرية الاعتراف. يمثل الحب النواة الأصيلة لكل أخلاقية وبالتالي فإن مجال القانون والتضامن لا يقومان إلا على أساس هذا الشكل من العلاقة بالنسبة إذن لهؤلاء, لهؤلاء المؤلفين مفهوم الحب مدين لهم لسببين هو السبب الأول الاعتراف بالشحنة النقدية لهذه المبادرات التي تتعارض مع الواقع الراهن وثانيا ولكن قبل كل شيء المنظور المعرفي اعتراف 
السوسيولوجيا بالقدرات اذا اعترفت السوسيولوجيا بالقدرات النقديه لبولتانسكي وتوفينو اللي هو زميله اللي اشتغلوا مع بعضهم كثير بكتابهم في الحقيقه ان مالفين وسوا واحد من كتبهم يلي بتناول هذه المواضيع ان ممارسات الناس في حياتهم اليوميه لها الاولويه على المبادئ المجرده التي يرسخها تنظير منفصل وهذا يعني ان قوه النقد لا تكمن فعليا في نظريات المثقفين بل في الاشخاص واعمالهم اليوميه Yes, finally, we can say that uh, the concept uh, of um, social love is inspired by other interdisciplinary ideas. For example, especially from uh, post-colonialism, it takes the criticism of a uniform vision of human resumes. So love, on the other hand, has the ability of bringing together distinction and identity, creating open and dialogical bonds. This is true among human beings, but also in the relationship with the nature, carrying out a critique of uh, the anthropocentrism, which through a systemic mechanism well explained by the categories of Anthropocene, for example, by Latour, or a capital of Sene by Moore, uh, post-colonial literature recalls that love has an aesthetic and cosmic dimension that is well expressed towards the mother heart and also concerns a responsibility towards the differences and the new generations. And uh, we can add that the concept of social love is also connected with the radical literature and in particular with the work of Hart and Negri. This is because they recognize that love allows people to understand the power and the productivity of the common. According to them, love is not a sentimentalism, and it is not closed in private relations, but it has a philosophically and politically essential uh, concept and meaning, because it is the only process that allows the production of the common through the differences. And finally, we can say that social love also takes its cue from the sociology of emotions, the third stream, We are talking about the famous emotional turn that arose from a group of American sociologists, for example, Arlie Oshield, then Schaff, and then Kemper in the 70s. Uh, they published uh, their first monographs and uh, they organized the first uh, seminars in that uh, occasion. And we can say that the concept of social love is indebted to this uh, stream of sociology of emotion because, of course, it has the, marrying, the merit of bringing uh, to the four new topics often relegated to the privatism. But at the same time, the concept of social love criticizes the idea that love is only a sentimentalism. Love has, above all, a cognitive component. It is an action, it is an interaction, a relationship. And uh, obviously, this action needs feelings such as empathy and also a conception of reality that is a cognitive dimension. But uh, above all, social love has an eminent, eminently practical dimension that is realized in common and also through the scandal of sharing differences. إذا مفهوم الحب الاجتماعي مستوحى من أفكار متعددة متعددة الاختصاصات الأول شيء بدراسات ما بعد الكولونيالية يلي استفاد من الحب الاجتماعي بالتأكيد على قدرة الحب على الجمع بين التمييز والهوية يعني أو ومفهوم الكوني وبنفس الوقت الهوية الاجتماعية وخلق روابط منفتحة وحوارية مع الكوني ومع الخاص المحلي وفي الحقيقة وامتداد الدراسات ما بعد الكولونيالية بشغل برونو لاتور مايكل مور 
بروم لاتور مفهوم الانثروبوسين بمعنى كيف الانسان عم بيقضي على البيئه على الطبيعه دور الانسان بتدمير الطبيعه الانثروبوسين امور بيصلح له لاتور بقول له مش كل الناس يعني ترويش ما بيقتلوا الطبيعه اللي بيقتلوا الطبيعه هن هن الراسماليين لهذا بدل الانثرو انثرو هو انسان انثروبوسين تدمير الانسان هو لا قال له كابيتولوسين تدمير الراسمالي اذا في الحقيقه ركزوا على اهميه المحبه للكره الام اللي بسميها برونو لاتور اللي هي الارض الارض ومفهوم المسؤوليه باتجاه الاجيال الجديده اذا ما لازم نفكر بس بنحن بجيلنا ولكن بالاجيال القادمه وكمان في الحقيقه بيذكروا ادبيات نقديه مثل مايكل هارت وطونو نيجري يلي ركزوا بشغلهم على ان الحب هو ليس فقط عاطفي وانغلاق في الخصوصية بل هو مفهوم أساسي فلسفي وسياسي لأن العملية الوحيدة التي تسمح لإنتاج المشترك الكومن اللي كتبوا عنه من خلال الاختلافات والنقطة الأخيرة اللي جابتها سيلفيا هي موضوع علم الاجتماع المشاعر اللي بيأكد منذ في الحقيقة السبعينيات بدأ شيء نسميه التحول العاطفي emotional turn يلي بدأ تفكير فيه من السوسيولوجيين الأمريكان وخاصة أرلي فورتشايلد بمقالتها مقالة شهيرة على هذا الموضوع وتوماس شيف وتيودور كامبر وغيرهم بس الفكرة الأساسية بأنه الحب الاجتماعي أنه الحب هو ليس فقط عاطفي الحب لديه قبل كل شيء مكون معرفي إفهامي عملي من الواضح أنه يحتاج أيضا إلى المشاعر التعاطف ولكن الطريقة نتصور فيها الواقع ونقدر نفهم الواقع من خلاله اذا اذا واهميه مفهوم المشاركه بمعنى الانسان المعطاء يلي مارسيل موس بيحكي على الجفت الهديه he makes better our speech reality <laughs> thank you very much Therefore, we can close this part saying that on the shoulders of giants, we identified four dimensions of social love, particularly useful for the empirical research. The first one is overabundance. This is the typicality of social love. Overabundance means exceeding shared expectations. In other words, love has a critical charge in contemporary society because it breaks with utilitarian accounting and exchange logics. The second semantic dimension is taking care of the others and work. Love puts uh, the other on his good first. In other words, the priority of benefit of the others Becomes, from, uh, becomes the objective and the concrete element for identifying social love. Other two characteristics of love are universalism and recognitions of, uh, of others. Re regarding universalism, we can say that social love goes beyond the logic of uh, the in-group and is also expressed towards people outside one's circle. That is, it, it goes uh, beyond primary relationships with partners, family members, and friends. It can also be addressed to a stranger, an, an uh, ungrateful person, or a person radically different from oneself in geography, origin, culture, religion, or skin color, and even towards an enemy. 
Lastly, there is a, the rec recognition of the other, which means that love is based on the, on the irreducibility of the others. In other words, social love is a, a bond that does not flatten, but rather enhances differences, allowing people to be themselves in a stranger. It is therefore a social bond suitable for plural and contemporary society. Hey, الآن بدهم يحكوا على أبعاد عم بيحكوا على أبعاد أربعة لا ال ال الاجتماعي. الأول هو مفهوم التجاوز over abundance. وبمعنى التخطي التوقعات المشتركة وبعبارة أخرى الحب له شحنة نقدية في المجتمع المعاصر لأنه يتعارض مع المنطق النفعي القائم على السلعنة الاحتساب التبادل البعد الثاني اللي هو الاعتناء بالآخر الحب يضع الآخر وغير في المقام الأول وتصبح أولوية أولوية منفعة الآخرين العنصر الموضوعي والملموس لتحديد الحب الاجتماعي بعد الثالث اللي هو العالمي يونيفرساليزم أو الكوني بمعنى أنه يتجاوز منطقة جماعة النحن يتم التعبير عنه أيضا تجاه الأشخاص الذين هم خارج الدائرة القاصة بالمرء أي أنه يتجاوز العلاقات الأساسية مع الشريك وأفراد الأسرة والأصدقاء البعد الأخير هو الاعتراف بالآخر وبالتالي حب الآخر لا ي... ما بيستوعب ما... ما... ما بينهي ما بيعمل التمايز مع الآخر الآخر له شخصيته هذا مهم إذا الاعتراف بالآخر يعني عدم قابلية إزالة الآخر فالحب الاجتماعي هو رباط لا يسطح بل بالعكس يقدر الاختلافات من خلال السماح للأشخاص بأن يكونوا أنفسهم في شخص غريب ولذلك فهو رباط اجتماعي مناسب للمجتمع التعددي والمعاصر Thank you. So on this basis, uh, we, we finished this part on the shoulders of giants on the, uh, on the other authors on the literature. Uh, but we can say that uh, uh, on this basis, on the semantic dimensions of uh, the concept of social love, we started a research program. And uh, we have been carrying out for about 15 years. And at the beginning, we started collecting many case studies. So we started and we collected about 20 case studies. We don't uh, tell you all the 20 cases, but we only mentioned two of them. The first one is the case of suspended goods. Uh, do you know um, it? Uh, in Naples, in my cities, um, there is a custom when you go to have a coffee in a bar, you can leave uh, one suspended coffee for a poor person. This means that you pay two coffees, one for yourself and another for a person who will ask you for it, but uh, who cannot afford it. It is a little uh, gesture, but it, it is a si significant because you know that uh, in Italy, coffee is not only a dark drink, but it means confidence and welcome. Now the suspended coffee has become a viral movement. It exists all over the world, and there is uh, the suspended pizza, the suspended baguette, the suspended rice-based meal. In France and Italy too, and other countries, there is now also a law that allows to leave suspended work permits for people who do not have enough permits to be close to loved ones who are sick. Everything started 
from a child with a cancer named Matisse. The father of Matisse worked at Danone, a big company in France, but he didn't have enough work permits to be next to his son who had the cancer. Then his colleagues go together to give him their work permits. Thus, this solidarity action spread out in various companies and workplaces. So this possibility was institutionalized in various countries become, becoming an official law named Matisse Law. Why did uh, we choose uh, who studied that case of suspended good? Because it is a form of help to an unknown person, not in primary groups, who can be a stranger or ungrateful one. There is no direct reciprocity, it's not a gift. It has uh, differentiated and become institutionalized. Hence, it is a form of solidarity that gives rise to specific social actions, relationships, and interactions, which otherwise would not have name. إذا الآن ينتقل إلى دراسات الحالي، فأول حالة هي حالة الخيرات المعلقة، وأمثلة جميلة جدا لأول مرة بسمع فيها أو هي إنه واحد بفوت على القهوة بيدفع بيدفع حق فنجانه وبيعلق فنجان ثاني يعني بيدفع حق فنجانين، فبيجي الفقير وفيه ياخذ الفنجان ويعبوا له إياه قهوة. و و و واصبح موجود الـ الـ الخبز الباجيت كمان فيه يشتري الواحد اكثر من باجيت واشياء اخرى واجمل شيء مثالي اللي جابوه بانه كيف حتى بالاجازات في في هناك تضامن وانه هلا في قانون صار يسمح بانه العمال فيهم يعطوا اجازاتهم لبعضهم وعم بيحكوا على أب صبي اسمه ماتيوس فلازم يكون أبوه جنبه بمرحلة السرطان فبيقوم بياخد إجازات زملائه مشان دائما يكون جنب ابنه إذا نحن عم نحكي على أشياء فريدي واعتراف بالآخر وأشكال مختلفة من التضامن and uh, we would uh, only mention another case which uh, on which a phd student now is conducting his research and it is about the reconciliation commissions this is a picture in a museum uh, in chile where there is a map of all, all the reconciliation commissions uh, around the world and so those reconciliation commissions uh, are tested not only in south africa in 1995 as we know but also in chile argentina El Salvador, Guatemala, Panama, Peru, Ghana, Sierra Leone, Liberia, East Timor, Tunisia. And uh, these experiences represent that form of social love capable of recomposing deep and painful collective wounds. So concluding, uh, we can add that we have conducted a meta-analysis of those uh, 20 case studies and what emerged. Uh, that social love has uh, some distinctive uh, elements uh, in the process of activating social bonds. And for example, we identified that among the antecedents of social love, there, uh, there are, for example, empathy and respect. And uh, among the effects of social love, there are trust and social generativity. Yeah, the مثال الثاني الذي يستحضروه هو لجان المصالحة يلي بدأت بالبداية بجنوب أفريقيا ولكن الآن موجودة بغانا بسرالليون ليبيريا تيمور الشرقي وتونس you didn't mention Morocco because yeah Morocco is it's 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 the plomb against the plombiers فكل هاي بتفرجي كيف انه رغم المآسي كيف انه عم بيحاولوا يتجاوزوا الصراعات وكيف يلملموا جروحهم بشكل جماعي 
اذا اذا ممكن ينعمل تحليل لمثل هيك حالات بالتركيز على نقطتين انه الحب الاجتماعي هي عمليه في الا شيء قبل اللي هو سوابق يعني شيء التعاطف والاحترام اذا ما في امباثي وكذا ما في حب اجتماعي و والنقطة الثانية هي الآثار آثار الحب الاجتماعي هو توليد الثقة والقدرة على التوليد الاجتماعي يعني خلق ديناميات جديدة للعلاقات الاجتماعية. And uh, finally, we would like to briefly mention uh, this uh, this uh, our empirical last empirical research on social love uh, that we conducted through a statistical approach. Uh, it is connected to the beyond the GDP debate. You should know that since uh, 2004, as we remember, there have been groups of scholars and statisticians who recommend to go beyond the GDP as the only measure of people's well being. And today, this is more than necessary, especially in this uh, post, we hope so, post COVID world. Um, which has shown us that we must abandon the production as the only system of relationship with the world. Just only think that uh, a war or an earthquake, of course, can increase the GDP, so it's crazy. <laughs> Thus, our research aims to conceive that uh, and implement the well-being of people and nations uh, on the basis of a new index, which is called the World Love Index. So this, measures, uh, this measure is based both on individual data sets and uh, with the transnational surveys and on ecological data sets. This is because uh, we are convinced that we have to connect the individual behaviors and the institutional level. So we're replying to this, uh, this question. Um, so this, uh, this multiplicity of data offers the opportunity to deepen the reflection by completing individual opinions with the institutional actions. At the individual level, we use the two transnational and longitudinal survey projects, and especially the Gallup World Poll. This is a survey, at a longitudinal survey, and the World Value Survey. Among the questions included in these two surveys, the research group selected some items. Uh, we only mention uh, as examples so some of them. For example, for the dimension of overabundance, the time offered by volunteering. Universalism, uh, if you have helped an owner or, or a foreign person. Uh, for the dimension of care, uh, if you consider um, important problems, uh, poverty and environmental pollution. And uh, for the dimension of recognition of the other, educating children to respect the diversity and not to be selfish are all examples of, uh, of questions that we picked up from those polls. But there are only, uh, not only the behaviors of individuals, we know. And so there are also the behaviors of the institutions, of course, and they are very important. For this, uh, we uh, also use the other ecological data on two data sets, uh, especially the Humanitarian Protection Index used by the United Nations. Uh, the High Commissioner for Refugees, and also the Red List, uh, List Index, the and a Conservation Index of Biodiversity uh, of the Species. And uh, so research both on ecological and individual data has therefore led to these findings. First of all, some of the countries in the top of the GDP rankings have dropped in the, ranking, in the rankings and the, the contrary as well. In addition, Three aggregate country groups emerged. Uh, you can see on the slide. So uh, there are uh, the circled in red are the countries with humanitarianism vocation. So the the countries where there are high values of uh, uh, social love of overabundance, but mainly oriented to meet the needs of those living poverty, and uh, in those. Uh, countries, there is uh, Nigeria, which is one of the reference countries. 
uh, you can see in the in the green in the green uh, circle the countries with an environmental vocation. So uh, they have uh, a scores very high scores in the overabounding, uh, so in social love, but oriented to the protection of the environment and the fight against pollution. And especially Hong Kong is uh, one reference country. And there are also uh, circled in yellow the countries of doing. And so with a high overabundance values, but more addressed to the practical dimension to the other in general. The last example for today that we are going to talk about is the World Love Index of the World Love Index, which is the research group that they have worked on since 2004. They have worked on it. And in fact, هو التركيز على انه انه فينا نفكر ب بالحب الاجتماعي بما يتجاوز الحرب او الزلزال يلي وهيك شغلات في الحقيقه من من جهه البحث الداتا المعطيات هي بشكل اساسي استخدموا استطلاع جالوب العالمي آه ويلي هو مسح آه منذ عدة سنوات هذا مسح طولي يشمل 140 آه بلد وإضافي لدراسات الدراسات الاستبيانية للقيم في العالم يلي هو World Value Survey آه ويلي بيستقصي 90 دولة فأخذوا هالديتا وبدأوا يدرسوا الأبعاد الأربعة يلي ذكروها مثلا بالبعد التجاوز في سؤال اختاروا مؤشر هو التطوع بوقتك أن تكون عضوا في منظمة تطوعي البعد العالمي هو هل ساعدت شخص غريب لا تعرفه بحتاج لمساعدة الشهر الماضي إيه مثال كمثال مؤشر هناك مؤشرات أخرى there is other indicators I guess but uh, but this is as example ال وبعد العناية بالآخر سؤال وبالعالم ما هي المشكلات التي تعتبرها الأكثر خطورة في العالم ومن بين ذلك المدرجة في القائمة هناك سؤال الناس الذين يعيشون في الفقر والعوز أو سؤال عن التلوث البيئي البعد الرابع والاخير هو الاعتراف ب بالاخر ب مثلا تعليم الاطفال واحترام التنوع وعدم الانان مؤشرا اذا في الحقيقه اهميه هذا المؤشر بانه ما ما بيشتغل فقط على الافراد لانه جالوب وورد فاليو سيرفي بيشتغلوا على الافراد ولكن ايضا على المؤسسات فبداوا يهتموا بالدولي بشكل عام واخذوا مؤشر مؤشر الحمايه الانساني ومؤشر اخر يلي اسمه القائمه الحمراء يلي هو يفرجي لاي درجه الدول بتهتم بالتنوع البيولوجي للانواع الحيوانيه والنباتيه ولاحظوا بان هناك ثلاث انماط او ثلاث تصنيفات للدول التصنيف الاول يلي هي بالدائرة الحمراء هون هير 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 هدول يلي هني البلدان ذات الدعوة الإنسانية حيث تسجل قيم عالية بشأن حجم التجاوز الموجه أساسا لتلبية احتياجات أولئك الذين يعيشون في الفقر المثال عن ذلك يا نيجيريا أما الدول المحاطة بدائرة خضراء هن البلدان ذات الدعوة البيئية حيث تسجل قيم عالية بشأن حجم التجاوز موجه أساسا إلى حماية البيئة ومكافحة التلوث وهونغ كونغ مثلها وبلدان الفعل الأخضر حيث يكون هناك بشكل اساسي عمل التشاركي مع الاخرين. Thank you. In conclusion, 
uh, we can say that in the field of social research, social love is a powerful concept because it has a public dimension. It allows us to imagine a world where difference can be together. And finally, it uh, highlights the protagonism of the people. So we can say that empirical research shows that the social love has generative effects because it uh, gives birth to new relations of peace that have a critical and innovative cha charge in today's uh, societies. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, shukran. <laughs> إذا بال بال بالختام ملخص سريع بانه الحب الاجتماعي بين بانه له بعد عام انه بيسمح بتخيل العالم يمكن ان تقيم فيه الاختلافات معا بسلط الضوء على قياده الاشخاص ومشيئتهم وقوه المشيئه بيولد علاقات سلام جديده لها شحنه نقديه وابتكار في مجتمعنا uh, it's, uh, it's us to thank you really uh, for this wonderful talk. And with this uh, really uh, note, I would like to open the floor uh, to, um, uh, to everyone. So I will start by our audience uh, to, uh, to see if you have any uh, uh, comment, uh, questions. Please, we will collect the questions and then you will, uh, I will give you the floor again. And, and then I will take from the virtual uh, world رجاءً يلي معنا فيه يستخدم بالرياكشن شيء اسمه ارفع رفع اليد raise your hand okay if you are with us on Zoom so I am eager to hear from Birgit I mean how 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 your neighborliness concept resonate with uh, with this social with with this social love no 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 she came from there okay. but we should always open and close so open it so actually i had another question so i'll come back to the neighbor neighborliness as as a concept later if i may and my question which i which i brought which i brought with me here and and that you have actually answered but that you know it would be great if you if you would sort of maybe put it into a nutshell again when i came um with great expectations and thank you so much for this wonderful um, research um i thought well you know probably they will talk about altruism and so now, of course, you've really explained why social love is the deeper concept. But could you could you maybe sort of summarize that kind of coherently why this covers more and is more important and, and you chose this and not the concept of altruism? Altruism. أنا جيت متأخر أعتذر أول شيء شكرا على المحاضرة ما بعرف أنا عم يطلع يعني مفاهيم جديدة هذا مفهوم جديد ومفهوم جديد يعني نذكر كثير يعني إذا بدك علماء الاجتماع كلهم وما كنا عم نسمع فيه يعني كل اللي ذكرتيهم أو ذكرتوهم من مؤلفين ومن مفكرين سوسيولوجيين مذكرين المسألة هيدي بس فعليا هالمفهوم ما كان بارز هلا عم نشوف هالمفهوم ما برز دوركان بالبداية علم الاجتماع حكي عن شيء اسمه التضامن سوليداريتي والتضامن يعني مميز بين تضامن عضوي وبين تضامن ميكانيكي إلى أي مدى يعني الحب الاجتماعي يعني مختلف عن التضامن الاجتماعي 
وين وين التميز يعني بينهم كبير لانه التضامن يقتضي حب ومحبه هو و الى اخره وانا بعتبر الحب الاجتماعي والمحبه يعني هو اذا بدك متضمن في التضامن الاجتماعي مش مش اساس يعني عم نروح على محل يعني اذا بدك يعني مفاهيم فرعيه ونحاول نفسر منها مع اهميه يعني في بنك الوقت بسويسرا بنك الوقت واحد يوظف وقت وبعدين الى اخره في ظواهر كثيره لهالمساله هيدي بس كله هذا برجع على سؤال واحد الحب الاجتماعي هذا يعني اول شيء البعد الاساسي فيه نفسي تعمل حب يكون عندك شحنه نفسيه كثير قويه أه نحن بعلم الاجتماع عم نجمع في حب بالمجتمع بس انا افضل التضامن بس هذا الحب الاجتماعي اذا اخذنا لبنان واخذنا فلسطين واخذنا الدول العربيه يعني هذا الحب الاجتماعي ما مبين ببلادنا بالعكس مبين الكره الاجتماعي النقيض مبين يعني التصرف الاسرائيلي مع الفلسطيني انه في في حد ادنى من المسائل اللي بيقدر واحد ي... ما انا موجود يعني ما بدي فوت بكثير تفاصيل بس انه هذا الحب الاجتماعي يعني مليني صحيح بالاخر في ناس هي بتتطوع المسألة هيدي بده يكون شيء طوعي واختياري والى اخره بس مثل الضامن برجع على سؤالي الاساسي عن التضامن شو الفرق بيناتهم التضامن والحب الاجتماعي شكرا It's a very interesting question from uh, Dr. Uh, Ali Musawi, who, who was a former also uh, uh, president of, uh, uh, of the Lebanese Sociological Association, that you say, why, why your baseline reflection is social love and not so, uh, solidarity? And he is a Marxist. Okay, so you should understand <laughs> that uh, solidarity, uh, uh, I mean, it's uh, it resonates with uh, with the structure with the, with the, uh, b between social classes things like that and 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 to say that in 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 fact uh, if we take uh, social solidarity as overarching category uh, uh, it can we can uh, we can explain social love but the opposite we cannot do it i mean so what is the the, the uh, the base, uh, what, what, what is the overarching and what is the uh, uh, detail, something like that. The other point uh, here is that, in fact, uh, you, you come to, uh, to preach social love in, uh, in a land of hatred. And we live in, uh, he, he said, we live in, uh, in a conflict area, uh, uh, Palestinian uh, uh, suffering from the Israeli colonialism, uh, the uh, uh, hatred within Lebanon, uh, different group, uh, uh, and and so on. So 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 how how this uh, uh, yeah, and 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 uh, and also another point to say. Look, he uh, belonged to the first point that he understand uh, social love as a as a psychological uh, question much more than sociological one. This is why he prefers uh, solidarity. So re really, uh, uh, this is how uh, a nutshell uh, his, his uh, contribution. Uh, Professor Muna Fayyad. Euh, au début, je, je vous remercie beaucoup, euh, Dr. Sari, pour nous faire euh, connaître euh, les deux très intéressants euh, speakers. Et euh, euh, j'étais très, euh, comment, euh, ça m'a ouvert beaucoup d'ouverture de, de, de vous entendre de, de, pour cette recherche. Euh, Surtout ici au Liban, vraiment, on a besoin d'une recherche de, de, de ce calibre et de, de cette façon d'exposer de, les, les données. Merci pour Dr. Ali Moussaoul. Il m'a fait penser que j'ai réfléchi sur sa question. Je crois que euh, social love, 
it's before la, la solidarity. We cannot, yani, on ne peut pas avoir de, de, de la solidarité avec les autres si on si ne part pas euh, par l'amour, l'amour ou l'amour social ou toutes sortes d'amour. Je crois que ce que vous faites, c'est très, très important. Et, mais ce qui m'a euh, étonné un peu, c'est que vous, êtes, vous avez cité beaucoup, beaucoup de chercheurs, vous avez fait, vous avez fait une révision de, dans tous les domaines. Mais euh, vous n'avez pas cité Eric Fromm. Je crois que, que lui, il a commencé cette idée peut-être que vous avez euh, élargi. C'est lui, lui il, il exprime l'amour de cette façon, c'est-à-dire il n'a pas dit euh, amour social, mais l'amour chez lui, ça, ça coïncide beaucoup avec votre travail. Et moi, j'aimerais avoir, euh, euh, pouvoir lire votre recherche et ça serait très utile pour moi puisque moi, j'ai de, euh, euh, un article hebdomadaire. Je peux vraiment faire euh, connaître les gens euh, cette, cette approche euh, très nouvelle et que, pour, que, euh, que nous, euh, nous, nous pouvons euh, profiter ici au Liban et dans notre monde arabe qui manque beaucoup d'amour et de, de paix et qui, qui plonge vraiment dans, dans une violence incroyable. Et, euh, je crois qu'on a beaucoup à faire. Et vous, au Liban, on, on s'entraide beaucoup, et, mais on n'a pas fait le, le travail que le South Africa a fait. On n'a pas fait jusqu'à maintenant. Je crois qu'on doit donner beaucoup de, de lumière sur cette façon qui va aider beaucoup les, les Libanais. Merci beaucoup. I think three is good for answering now. Three is good. Answer. I think they need to answer. Three questions yeah, is well, good. So we, will, we will have a lot of ground. Uh, and then, 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 hopefully, you're a Okay. Then, so, uh, please. Yeah. About altruism and the social love, the difference. Um, Georg Zimmel um, wrote on this uh, distinction in a fragmented lab um, was published uh, postmo um, postmortem. Um, altruism is um, a concept uh, that uh, exprim uh, um, the um, is uh, centered on the others. Every action is centered on the others. Um, instead, so social love um, has uh, three moments, if uh, we can say. Uh, the first um, moment is uh, um, you are centered on, on, on yourself. Huh? And uh, the, the second, the second uh, moment, you exit from you for to do others, or to assume other points of view or a, a condition. Uh, um, and the third moment, you return in yourself, but uh, you are um, changed um, because, uh, you, because this, uh, this movement from the exit and to uh, return in yourself uh, uh, create um, a new uh, identity mm, where uh, the difference and yourself are uh, stay together. I think uh, that uh, uh, these uh, two concepts exprim two different realities. Um, the other question um, uh, on solidarity, um, I want to. Um, I, evidence, uh, one aspect uh, expressed by Max Weber. Uh, Weber um, um, centered the uh, social love uh, on the condition uh, of human condition that is characterized by suffering, uh, suffering or limitation of uh, human condition. We, we live uh, in, in a limited co condition 
And uh, this is the base for to, um, our action to stay uh, together uh, or to stay near the suffering, the others. Um, and the uh, Baba um, express another uh, another reflection uh, in uh, his reflection on the social uh, so, uh, sociology of religion, and um, um, he um, um, expression that the, um, he, he, he uh, uh, searched the golden rules in every religion. Uh, that we can uh, say uh, uh, you can do uh, what you want the other uh, does uh, for you. Mm -hmm. um, and that is the second um, aspect where uh, eradicate uh, an action uh, of social love. Um, I think uh, uh, this um, um, these uh, two um, aspects of Weber uh, can um, help to differentiate uh, solidarity from uh, social love. Uh, because solidarity um, uh, born when you um, share a condition with others. Uh, for example, uh, um, solidarity of a class, social class, huh? um, or uh, esteem uh, the, the others, and uh, you uh, you feel to uh, express solidarity uh, for um, the, the events. Hmm? But uh, the love, um, you can do express solidarity uh, for other person that stay um uh, um uh lontano um, abroad uh, fr from you uh but love calls to uh, action to do um, a concrete uh action uh to do uh to bring a uh, care uh direct indirect uh mode um i think uh, that are the correct Characteristics that differentiate uh, solidarity from uh, social love. But, uh, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. هو بشكل أساسي بيخلينا نفكر مباشرة بالآخر بينما بينما مفهوم الحب الاجتماعي بيميز بين ثلاث لحظات تركيز على الفرد قبل ما أنه ركز على 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 الذات قبل ما أفكر على على الآخر وكيف التفكير بالآخر بده ينعكس على الفرد ويخلق له هوية جديدة بشكل أساسي هذا الفرق مع مفهوم الآخرين وفي ردة لدكتور علي موسوي بدأ من 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 فيبر بأنه هو لما فيبر فكر بالحب أخذ تناول شيئين أساسيين هو كيف الحب مربوط بالألم والمعاناة وكيف أنه الحب هو يمكن أن يكون القاعدة الذهبية في كل الأديان يعني هو الشيء المشترك في كل الأديان بالتالي هو يعلو على التضامن لأنه التضامن تاريخيا مربوط ب بشخص في لك علاقة معه علاقة علاقة طبقات اجتماعية مثلا أو بينما الحب الاجتماعي هو التركيز على مستويات متعددة 
بدون بالضروره يكون لك علاقه معهم يعني بمعنى مع مع ناس انساني وهكذا وخاصه الحب الاجتماعي هو في الحقيقه ليس هو شيء وصفي سكريبتيف هو كمان معياري نورماتيف هو دعوي للفعل وانا برايي هي اهميه الحب الاجتماعي اللي ما ظهر ب I'm saying this is uh, was not uh, I mean uh, there is very interesting in, in this social uh, love conception this is not descriptive and uh, analytical but also normative you call people to do this and you highlight this etc I mean this is why really has a special tone and special flavor and color okay yeah paused, of yeah. course Yes. May, may I add only something yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or it's better to have a second round? Yeah, maybe. Yes, yes. yes. No, I would only like to add this. At the starting of our research project on the social love in reality, we started with a glossary. With a glossary, so defining the differences and the overlapping of the concept with other similar concepts. Uh, it is important because, of course, uh, in our uh, in our in our sciences, in our disciplines, it is important to have uh, parsimony uh, criteria. So you have to 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 add another concept and another term only if it is needed. So in our uh, in our observations, uh, because we started as well on the theoretical level and uh, with the, the case studies, uh, so with the empirical level as well. So we were trying uh, to uh, to adjust the the, the the definition of the concept uh, through the empirical level as well. So it is important uh, this thing. Maybe of course there are some overlappings, but at the same time uh, we are convinced that. That for something uh, which is uh, yes social love for us uh, there is no name for these things uh, and uh, there are differences okay and uh, what can we say uh, this is uh, the, the the specificity of uh, social love is overabounding with an, an objective criteria which is uh, uh, doing benefit to the other because of course uh, overabounding can Yes, destroy the other, of course. You can do over the expectation, but you can, uh, of course, uh, destroy the other and doing uh, something which is not uh, related to his good, okay? And uh, we can say that uh, regarding, uh, yes, solidarity and altruism, uh, the, the important thing is uh, on, the, on our uh, approach, theoretical approach, of course, we were, uh, we are, we were convinced that we had to uh evaluate and um uh, yes reevaluate the critical the critical uh, literature the critical literature so we 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 are very thankful to of course post marxism uh, radical literature and so on but at the same time uh, especially for for us it is important to give again a role to people this is the the subtitle of our our, our speech when reality changes uh, um, uh, challenges uh, sociological imagination the critical dimension uh, of uh, uh, social love uh, so it is important for for us not only of individuals but of people collectively as well collectively as well and it, it can be institutionalized so for example we met uh, Boltaski and he wanted to go further his uh, uh, his teacher who was Pierre Bourdieu, um, uh, giving again a, a new role to the actors, to the social actor, to the people. Okay, but at the same time, we we discussed as well with Boltaski because Boltaski is convinced that love, agape, he says, uh, love uh, cannot be institutionalized, cannot be because it is not reflexive because uh, it is uh, something that happens uh, at this time we can say this so uh, we we criticize the, this uh, this concept of social uh, of love in the in this sense because in our in our view uh, we can say that uh, love everything in a human being is reflexive 
also love is a reflexive as well and can be institutionalized uh, for example the case of uh, the suspended goods the, the coffee can become a law collectively yes being in common and uh, regarding the the other question uh, in this why to talk about love here we are very honored to be here because we we in this Four days, yes. Uh, um, I only, uh, I, I can say that I, I, we can be human in this way because we we know that it is a complex here to talk about love. It's very complex. Love is always, and uh, we can say people that uh, love each other. But at the same time, it is necessary an institutional level, and we know uh, it's needed peace, a peaceful uh, new era. But at the same time, it is a very important and uh, interesting laboratory of uh, diversity. And this is love. The, uh, not only the acceptance of diversity, but the protection of diversity. Love, uh, uh, social love is uh, only the protection of uh, the different identities. And so it is very important in this place, especially in this place, you have uh, uh, 18 different religion uh, religion confessions here uh, a lot of different people we it's simple for us to talk about uh, the acceptance or, or, or not only the acceptance the or, on the uh, differences uh, here you have uh, one third of people who are refugees so you have this kind of concrete problems and uh, in our uh, leader research, and we would like to involve you in our research as well. Love can be uh, not not a solution because we, it is not a paradigm. We are not. We are very human. It's only a theory, a concept that can be useful in some uh, sometimes to read with a sociological imagination some some phenomenon that can happen. Uh, yeah. No. No. Th uh, thank you. And. Uh explain very well في الحقيقه هني بداوا يشتغلوا ب ب بعمل جلوسري يعني مفردات مفردات معجم مفردات دلاليه ترتبط بهذا المفهوم وشافوا كل ما كل كلمه شو لها معناها والى اخره وبعد ذلك حفروا مفهوم الحب الاجتماعي يلي بشكل اساسي فيه فيه السمتين بانه انه في انسان ممكن يعمل شيء غير متوقع اولا وغير متوقع باتجاه الاخر انه فيك تعمل شيء غير متوقع تضر الاخر تدمر الاخر هي اول نقطه النقطه الثانيه اللي حكت عليها برايي هام كثير هو موضوع المأسسه بانه هو ليس فقط مفهوم فردي وهذا وهذا في الحقيقه رد على دكتور منى بانه في الحقيقه بالسايكول انه المأسسه هو اللي بتجيبه نحو السوسيولوجيا and 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 yeah and actually actually this is all always when uh, i'm in sociology of religion and when people uh, keep talking about account uh, uh the, the importance of uh, giving poor people and this is a, a, a very important act in uh, in islam but i i would imagine in, uh, in christianity also uh, through uh, other means but uh, for instance, they, these religious people, they underestimate the importance of tax. And tax is really purely institutionalized. And, and uh, uh, taxation uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, is really, is, is, as you give for the other. Okay. Uh, so again, uh, uh, if you are... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, so you need to account for zakat, which is a purely individual things, and a, a tax uh, that you give to to the other. I'm talking about that. Yeah, I mean, we need to differentiate between zakat and the taxes. The taxes, 
هو فعل ممأسس وأنا برأيي هو فعل حب اجتماعي مثله مثل الذكاء اللي هو على مستوى بارتي الآن راح أعطي الكلام لعلي ومن ثم في سؤال من سؤال من الأودينس ورحنا لأنه صارت ساعتين تفضل شكرا لا لا مش لا لا مش بوقع الزبلين العزيزين اشتغل على بوقع بنفس الاطار انتروبولوجي ودرس الثقافه الشعبيه يعني السيد بقول انا بدي انزل اشتغل على على الحب اكثر منهم اللي بيحمروا وجههم يعني شو عم يحكي شو عم يعمل يعني في بيكون في حاله خجل انه الحب يتناول كدراسه ولكن ضمن الثقافه الشعبيه في صور كثيره بتدل على الحب يعني وهون مبدا التعاون مبدا العوني اللي كان موجود وما زال الى حد ما موجود وخاصه في الريف يعني بفتره من الفترات واحد بده يعمر البيت بيشتري بني وكل الشغل من قبل الاخرين بالنسبه للطعام والكافيه على النير على الحائط بالواقع وما زال لحد هلا بس بشكل محدود انه الواحد اللي بيقعد على السفره بلاقي اكثر من صحن من كل الجيران يعني الجيران بيوزعوا كل صحون لل الجيران اللي بيطلع قدامه اكثر من صنف قصه الخبز بعد والله بقدم بعد قصه الخبز مرات بيقعد واحد يخبز على التنور او على الصنج يفوت بنص الارغفه والجميع يتوزع حاليا حاليا في تكافل تكافل اجتماعي يعني بالريف اللبناني انا يعني عايش بمنطقه جنوب مثلا ما فيش هلا عوز رغم الازمة الاقتصادية يعني مسائب البلد لأن بنتي بلقي لها معظمها مغتربين مغطيين تقريبا كل المعوزين بمساعدات عم تجي من أستراليا من أمريكا من أوروبا من كندا يعني في تكافل يعني مبدأ التكافل مبدأ العوني مبدأ التعاون التطوع هذه أمور كلها موجودة ومتأصلة بمجتمعاتنا بس الإخوان ركزوا على الحب الحب مثل ما قلت إنه الحب حتى إذا بدي أقول حب في خجل يعني بعد مثل تابو يعني انه شو حتى اذا واحد بحب واحد ثاني بيخجل انه يقول انا بحبه يعني وما زال حتى الان يمكن المجتمع الغربي يختلف شوي متقدم بس هذا الواقع عم بيحكي من من خلال دراسات حقليه ميدانيه للواقع ثقافتنا الشعبيه بشكر المحاضرين الزوار وشكرا للعميدي وماريز وشكرا للدكتور ساري عزبتك بالترجمه شكرا
think uh, uh, the word uh, happiness, Fulmo, uh, is um, an effect of uh, something that um, are centered in the other parts. Is an effect, uh, the happiness. Um, the love is um, um, a subjectivity of people um, that conduct in, in effect, maybe <laughs> in, uh, in uh, happiness. Um, I think uh, I, I think the love came maybe um, a cause of uh, happiness. Huh? Um, happiness, in fact, uh, is a, a variable oh. dependence from uh, wage, uh, from uh, from other uh, other variables, integration or uh, or others. Um, the love um, is um, um, an action with sense for person uh, for people. Um, that can have these effects. I think that, that are the difference, uh, a conceptual difference, and um, stay in different moment of uh, social life. Mm. I think uh, it's... Yeah, at the same time, I, I would like to add that. Thank you for your suggestion because uh, we would love to, to do it. So to, to add other cases, we, we are here for this as well. <laughs> uh, so it's very interesting because I think uh, uh, the most interesting thing is, um, um, is researching on love interculturally, so in different cultures. Uh, because, uh, for example, we have uh, some researchers uh, who belong to our research network uh, who come from uh, Africa, or other from Asia, other, and uh, uh, of course, the way of acting love is really different, uh, and uh, it's up to the cultures, of course. So it's really important, and of course, uh, there will be, for example, these uh, sharing culture, interdependence uh, cultures that are very important. Um, and may, maybe we can uh, cooperate together and uh, we will engage as well Maris uh, and uh, her uh, uh, important uh, Institute of, uh, of Sciences uh, research, so we can do some cases here, uh, of course. Uh, at the same time, regarding uh, um, um, happiness, we can say that um, for example, there are some paradoxes, you know, in the Northern European countries, the Northern European countries are the most happiness uh, according to this index in the world, but at the same time, they have the highest rates of suicides. Yeah. Okay, so that's interesting, the paradoxical. It could be also, for example, for love, of course, because of course we are, um, both of, of the indexes, love, world love index and happiness uh, work with indicators coming from other surveys, of course. So we have to find the right, uh, the right indicators. And uh, uh, we are doing uh, some pilot surveying in, uh, in our nation, in Italy. Uh, in order to yes to do a, a scale of uh, of love in of love a scale yes a scale with questions uh, ad hoc uh, written for uh, yes for something on love but we are talking all, only about attitudes and we know we, there is a big debate between attitudes behaviors and uh, uh, relationship so the the the, the relationships. Uh, the dimension is missing in the surveys because they are individual. So they are methods do, done for individuals, of course. And uh, we need other kind of instruments to, uh, to survey as well, the institutions, the relations, and so on. So it is important uh, to have uh, this mix and method approach as well. And uh, to be conscious that the empirical research is also uh, limited. But it is interesting because this is the conclusion I can say uh, social love um, 
uh, yes, in reality, in our book, we said it is not a normative uh, uh, concept in this, uh, uh, to answer your, to reply to you. It is not a normative because we don't want to say, yes, please love. Okay, uh, love the others. Okay, this is uh, the uh, a norm of uh, a religious norm, or maybe uh, yes, I can I can teach loving to my sons and daughters, uh, especially my daughters because I have two kids. Uh, but um, for sociologists, it's important uh, to to see uh, that uh, the concept have uh, their legs. So the ideas have their legs and they can contribute in a sense, also only uh, looking at the world in another way, they can contribute to a more united world. So, uh, so um, putting uh, in action the sociological imagination can be a contribution to a more united world, a more peaceful world as well. Because uh, yes, be conscious of what is the social reality and uh, social reality is not only conflicts, but also love, all, also sharing, also, in, uh, yes, uh, the inter interdependence as well, uh, can, can be a contribution to, yes, looking at the world in, with these new glasses, new eyes, this is uh, the way. Yeah. Uh, I owe you an answer in three sentences. I owe you an answer. You asked me something. <laughs> all right. Just, just back to Sarah's initial thing. What does it all have to do with neighborliness? I'll be really brief. I think, having thought about that and listened to you, that neighborliness side of it is a form of social love, really. And like, like the Agabi concept that is inside the social love, it also has something religious in it. It's a Christian, love thy neighbor as thyself, but we also find it, who's an Ajivat, we also find it in, in Islam and other religions. It's both a practice and a relation, right? So neighborliness means you treat your neighbors well. And you have to define who the neighbors are, but then with the Christian, love thy neighbor, as I said, it becomes universalized. And, um, and I think so that's, you know, the practice, the relation, the overabundance, a lot of what you said can be found in this. So on the spot, I would say neighborliness is a form of social love. And we might discuss this further. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Birgit, about this. Uh, yeah. uh, be before just uh, translate, I would like to say that in World Happiness uh, Index, uh, what also not weird that always uh, this Nordic country is the best, but the ninth uh, country in the last one it was Israel. And what the meaning of uh, Israelis feeling happiness and 40% of, uh, of, 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 of those who live inside of Israel, of, of their, uh, etc., they are subjugated. I mean, the Palestinians. Yeah, so, so there is something wrong I, I mean, this is my, um, I wrote a paper, uh, a draft paper about uh, World Happiness Index. Say, we need to ask these two questions, happiness for whom and happiness for what? And I think, I think for what, where I, I, I see your contribution is really very important. باختصار شديد عم بيحكوا إنه الحب الاجتماعي ممكن يكون له ثمن. وهذا الثمن مش دائما سعادي يعني على حساب السعادي بالتالي ما فينا نعمل علاقة مباشرة بين الحب والسعادة والفكرة الثانية أنا برأيي المهمة اللي قالتها سيلفيا وحتى بالبداية بأنه ما لازم نفهم الحب الاجتماعي باعتبار بارادايم يعني يعني نظارات بنشوف الواقع فيه واقع ما بنشاف بس بالبر... بالحب الاجتماعي بنشاف بالصراعات بنشاف بأشياء أخرى هي بتتفضل بتحكي على نظرية وجهنا لنشوف الواقع و... و... وهي مثل بتعدت على أنه اعتبار الحب الاجتماعي مفهوم معياري النورماتيف لأنه ما... يعني مش هذا المهم المهم أنه هي... هي عدسات لنشوف فيها الواقع ونتأكد بأنه قدرنا نلمس هذا الواقع. في هذه الكلمة I would like uh, to thank uh, warmly.
Thank you. Uh, Thank you Marley, very much. Uh, Marie's, uh, for uh, all uh, 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 this really beautiful uh, talk and thank you for that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Ciao. Thanks for the exceptional translation. I, I, I think nobody can translate bet, better than you. Thank yeah, you no, very thank much. You. Not only translation, also amelioration. <laughs>